Okay, so the official welcome to class. Hi everyone, this is high intensity interval training. All that means is we move to a timer right there in the corner for as, as long and as hard as we can go. And then we take a little bit of a break and then we repeat again. So to today's format, we have our format we haven't done in a while. It's called double downs. Um, I think of it like I'm in a poker game and I'm like, I'm gonna double down. So kind of think of it as like, you're putting it all on the line. It's two exercises that you do two times, two by two exercises times two, you do four rounds. I'm like, how did I come up with that name? So it's two exercises, four rounds. I think of it as a two peas in the pod that you just keep doubling down until you hit four rounds. Um, that being said, it's going to be endurance work today. The first one is going to get to know it. The second one is going to be like mm, familiar. Third and fourth are going to be sticky. So feel free to use your options and really anchor in to what feels good to you. It is going to be a core and arm focus. You really don't need that much weight. If at all, there'll be a lot of body weight options today. But again, I'm recommending a range of weights, something like medium heavy. Okay, that's the shindig. That's all you need to know. We'll start the timer later on. It'll be 40 seconds intervals. For now, let's just warm up. And I said it's gonna be core arms. So let's start there. Let's just start with the arms. Some swing swings. Ah, we swing with the legs oftentimes to start class. We're just crisscrossing. Really open up through that chest, stand tall. And now big arm circles. I know y'all feeling me if you're one of those people who are often in that position. Puff that chest out slightly, open up. Oh, feel how different that feels from that typical hunched position. Nice job. Now just reverse it. Nice and slow. You can go quick, but if you go slow, you might feel a little bit of the sticky spots that you might explore. Ooh, going back, 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 up, 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 wide, and release. Second time, crisscross. Ooh, a little pedaling through the feet just to loosen up the body. Okay, team. So we're gonna go down on the floor. Option to stay here and lift the arms up to the ceiling and then go back. This can be your arm warm up. Or if you are okay with some wrist flexion, crawl it out to a plank. Crawl it back. Inch work. Keep going. Stand tall if you want. The point is we're getting the wrist used to some load. Now, if you're going for non-wrist flexion, if you have a chair or a bench nearby, you can do a plank hold, lift. I showed you three options. Take about a minute to do one of those. I want to warm up the core and arms. So any of those options I showed you would be beautiful to do. Inch it. Forearm plank it. Or squat arms reach back and forth. Ooh, taking it slow. We'll move fast <laughs> in a little bit. Right now, we're just warming up. All right, team, coming up at the end of that minute. One more out and in. We have about 10 more seconds to go. Ooh, if you're squatting that whole time, ooh, legs are warm, aren't they? <laughs> nice, team. And stand tall. Okay, let's shake it out. It is important to warm up that low body, even though we're doing a core focus today. So swing the legs, bring the knee up, hug, bring it down. Other side, swing the leg, just a couple times. Woo, not an exact number. Very loose leaf today, like loose leaf teeth. It's fun. <laughs> All right, pick the knee up, give it a hug. Very nice. Nice wide legs here. Let's get into some rotations. So you're just gonna reach for the opposite toe, opposite heel. And if you want, add a bend in the knee. But if you're someone whose knee's been bugging you today, straight but soft knee. So it's kind of like that aerobic e cross the body reach, but it's good to open up through the spine, hold, come to center, other side. Ooh. Again. Last time on the other side. I know, that was old school. That was super old school. Take your toes, point in one direction. We're gonna warm up with some windmill action, which we will be doing during our warm up, our workout. So bottom hand presses into the shin, hip goes opposite direction. Go as far as you can go without collapsing. Come on up. Again, hip goes inside. So 
it's like you're stuck between two pieces of toast. And the hip is going towards one side. We're not coming over. Yeah. Just like you're between two close buildings, down and up. It is a glute activator. Bottom hand presses into the shin. Ooh, dynamic stretch. Breathe in here. And last time this side, nice, 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 nice. We'll do a lot of this kind of anti-rotational core. Let's switch it out. Shoulder shrugs if you want. Okay, toes to the other side. Kind of at a 45 degree angle. Bottom hand presses into the ceiling. Top hand goes up. And now just take that hip and like someone's pulling it. Now get it right underneath you. Again. Ooh, nice pivot stretch here. Mm. Big inhales. Hold at the bottom. Get it up there at the top. Nice team. One more of those. And standing tall, we got some I's to W's. So I call this an I. Hands together, press it together, shoulders down, get a little taller, bring it to a W. I to W, that's all it is. If you want to warm up your ankles here, lift one knee up. Ooh. If you want to make it spicy, extend that leg for a little bit of quad work. Quad work is great for the knees, so that we're doing a low impact, knee friendly workout today. Ooh, you can build some quad strength if you extend that leg out. Okay, other side. We've got to even it out. If you do that quad on that other side, let's do this side. About 10 here. 10 ICWs. Try to keep that leg elevated and high. Woo! This is almost like a functional fitness class right here. Oh, not our traditional warm up for hip today. That's good. Different is good. Ooh, two more. And last one. Okay, check it out. So we got those pods today. So first two are going to start on the floor. Mountain climbers and bicycles. I'm going to show you a wrist free option on the couch or on the floor. Knee, chest, optional to add the bounce. That's number one. So if you were on the floor on your hands, same knee to same elbow. That's the first part of our pod. Flip it over. Bicycles extending from the hip. Torso can be on the floor or lift the torso opposite elbow to opposite knee. Two exercises, four times. It's gonna be a little bit of a grind. So take the first one as a warm up block. On your marks, get set. Here we go. Mountain climbers. So hands beautifully underneath the shoulders or elbows underneath the shoulders. Same elbow, same hand. If you're going for cardio today, you might keep that weight in the hands and add a little bit of a quick, quick, quick as you bring that knee up towards the chest, yeah? Try to minimize the bounce in the hips. Minimize it. Long spine. Woo! Good, straight the top elbows. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Relax. Stay on the floor, flip it over. Getting it started. Knees above the hips. On your marks, get set, extend the leg. Now how far you go to the floor, up to you. More core challenge as you extend closer to the floor. But anchor the ribcage in if you want. Opposite, opposite. Woo! Talk about hip flexion work. You might feel your hip flexors go, ah! Ten seconds to go here, team. This is round one of four. You are doubling down today. Three, two, one. Try to easy. Shake that out. You only get a limited amount of time to transition. Whoa, that was cute. Pause. Round two, here we go, mountain climbers. Ah. Weight in the hands, or elbows. So this is our 
our cardio set. Round two, I think we're gonna try to get that tempo or speed up if it feels right to you. 20 seconds, let's pick up that pace. now. Keep that pace. Hold on to it. Ooh. Ah, five here. Three, two, one. Shake it out. The hip flexors will start to feel like they're really working. We sit a lot during the day. Hip flexors tend to be weak. On your marks, get set. Here we go. Opposite if you want. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Nice, just diving into it today, team. Oh, it's a sticky one. It's a sticky one. Woo, do what you can. Do what you can. 40 seconds is a long time. As long as you try. Your best effort, five seconds to go. Three, two, one, relax. Okay, that was round two. We got two more to go. Not about finishing the whole 40 seconds, about trying out your best all the way through. Here we go. Round three, mountain climbers. Woo, maybe you do a couple and take a break, then get back into it, or maybe, you're just rearing to go. Yeah, climbing that mountain all 40 seconds. Up to you. Woo! Nice team. Coming up on the last 10. Oh, golly. Oh, dig in. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Just wipe that one off. Round three is the stickiest. It's the hump we gotta get over. Here we go, bicycles. You could just extend the legs. Or salt and pepper. Maybe you're still grinding that bicycle. Do you, team? sorts of funky. Oh, just challenging that low abdominal strength. Hip flexor extension. Get it, team. 10 seconds. Woo! Push that foot away. Three, two, one. Okay. Trust me. Trust me. The hump is gone. We're, we're finishing it. We're putting it in the bag. Last round. Here we go. Best round here. Just leave it all out there. This is the round, that's the best round, because we know we've tried, we know we've gone hard. We're just gonna leave it on the table. We're gonna just go ham for 20 more seconds. Ugh. Or try for it. <laughs> Weight in hands, non spine. 10 seconds here. Home stretch, team. Five, three, one. Oh. Oh. Okay. Two peas in a pod. Let's bring the second pea home. On your marks, get set. Round four. Ooh, doubling down. Ooh. Feels so reasonable in poker. All or nothing. No, eh, not really the language we, we do here. Ooh.
minutes pretty much, six minutes and 40 seconds of just pure plank or ob oblique core work. So, ah, this is gonna be continuing to double down on our core with the next two exercises. So many reasons why we call this one a double down today. So the next one is a plank up down or a narrow bridge push. I thought that since we were just in a plank, I would give a non-plank option. But let me show you the plank option first. You're on your hands and for your, you could be on your toes or your knees. You're going down, down, up, up. So you're replacing the hand underneath the, the elbow. Now, if you are not going, you're, you would like a non-plank option, flip it over to your back, do that narrow tricep push bridge hold. All right? Both of them are working a push or a pull. Okay, the second exercise is gonna be a pullover. So I want you to have one heavy weight available and we'll get to know it, we'll get to know it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna front load that one, we'll get there. So set up your first exercise and then that second exercise we'll get to know on the first round. On your marks, plank up downs or a bridge push. Get set, go. So, knees or toes. Maybe you start with your knees, get that alignment down. Anchor that ribcage in, down, down, up, up, alternate. Long spine. If you want, on your toes, the narrower the feet, the more challenge of instability. So go wider, narrow feet. Good, stabilizing rising at the core. If the hips will move slightly, try to minimize that as you brace through the core. Three, two, one, everyone on your backs. One heavy weight. It is a pullover. Single or double leg on your marks. Get set. Here we go, quick transition, I know. So take that weight, reach it towards the toes, legs back down. Reach it towards the toes. You might be here. That's beautiful. You don't have to come all the way up, but I want you to go as far as you can without oh, momentuming up. Go strength up. Strength reach. Single or double legs on these. And because our hip flexors have been working, ooh. They might be feeling them on those reaches. Okay, the two peas in the pod, we found them. We said hello. Now go your pace, your option. Remember round two, we try to focus a little more on cardio speed. If you want, here we go. Up, downs. Round two, see if you can take that little pace up a tiny notch. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Or push. Good team, five seconds here. Three, two, one. Pull over. I love options. Another pullover is a bridge pullover. Here we go. Ah, this focuses on that rectus abdominis straight core. This focuses on deep transverse abdominis. Both are great. So if your hip flexors are yelling, take a break. Pullovers here. Arms core. Then jump back in. That lift up to the ceiling. Reach it up. Breathe. Nice team. So when I say breathe, I say that because a lot of people tend to hold their breath on core work. They go, and they hold it in. Let it out. Up and down. Down. You need to breathe to get that oxygen to go. Good. 
Breathe in all the way through that 40 seconds. Round three is sticky. Not going to lie about that. But we're going to take it one by one. Relax. Okay. The number three is the hump. We're on the hump. Let's get past the hump. Single or double. Go lovers. Here we go. Reach it up. Relax the neck. If you have a weight today, medium to heavy, grab the two sides of the dumbbells. We're gonna go wood chop. Pivot the legs as an option. You pivot, you're really on the balls of the feet, drawing a diagonal high to low. We're gonna do 40 seconds one entire side, a second exercise, and then 40 seconds the other entire side, okay team? If you want, you can keep the feet planted, go static windmill, or, our warm up. So what I want, 40 seconds of some sort of a weight moving across the body or down and up. Those are your options. Grab that weight. Number two exercise, it is a weighted burpee. If you want or quick feet, let's just talk about it. So ah, for my friends who are avoiding knee work today, I'm gonna show you a different option. You just hold a slight hinge. Now, if you're doing a weighted burpee, two weights on the floor, hop or step it back. All this, the stepping is great for non-impact. Here, here, if you want, add a press. Ah, uh, so myself, I'm going the knee-friendly option today. So what I'm gonna be doing is a hinged over, quick feet, holding a weight. The further you put it out from the core, the more your core works. There you got it, second exercise. You can do that high-low impact or stick with the knee-friendly or core-focused version, core cardio version. Quick feet. So start with the wood, wood chop. Ah, ah, wood chop. It's not Christmas, but we are chopping some things down. <laughs> Figuratively. I don't think I say it figuratively. Hmm. On your marks, get set, go. So 
Don't worry if you just grabbed your weight, feel it out. Round one is it's like a cruise, right? You're, you're scoping things out, you're walking around, you're seeing which weight works for you. So pivot the feet, diagonal line, high to low. Hip to slightly above shoulder height. Watch for this, diagonal, yes. Diagonal from that toe all the way through the front. Ah, pivot, same side, same side. Straight but soft arms. Three, two, one. I don't wanna confuse things, let's go to the second side. Ah, we'll do one side, other side, then we'll do third exercise. On your mark, get set, go. Second side, high to low. So a little bit different. Pod one is a two-parter. High to low. You decide whether you pivot the feet or go for that beautiful windmill, non-twisting on the knee option. Ah, this feels right for me today. 10 seconds to go. Beautiful oblique stability. Three, two, and one. All right, team, for my friends who are going for the weighted burpees, get two top load. For my friends who are going core cardio, slight hinge forward, here we go. So it's a quick beat. You don't have to lift the foot all the way off, and the weight is optional. Here, yeah. You're moving the feet quick, 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 quick. Only if you want, Bring that weight slightly out. It will challenge the core and the back. Other options, no weight at all. Hands up. Ooh, quick feet there. This is pod, the second part of the pod. Shoulders back. Ooh. Nice, five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, Ooh, that's our pod. Two parts in the front, one to bring it home. So wood chop or windmill, you decide your option. Round two, here we go. Hinge or diagonal line. So friends who are windmilling, the palm can be forward or back. I want you to trace that bottom leg. And yes, you can add two weights. Ooh, if you want a little more challenge of the core. Wood choppers, beautiful diagonal. Breathe and relax. All right, team. Switch sides, wood chop, or windmill, single or double weights. On your marks, get set. Go. Ooh. Straight but soft arms. Long spine. Ooh. Yes, team. So this entire class has been core stability. So you may or may not feel your obliques right now. Because sometimes some of the core muscles are slow twitch fibers. You might not feel the burn that you traditionally do when you feel a crunch, but they're working. Three, two, one. Because over time it doesn't feel like the burn, but it gets harder, right? Okay, quick feet if you want, or weighted burpee. On your marks, get set, go. So if you're doing that weighted burpee, you have two weights and you're going all the way down and up, optional push. Looks like this. Boom, hop or step it back. Boom, in, use the legs, get it up, press. Friends, on the quick feet zone, we're here. Soft feet, Ooh. hot cold. Nice, 10 seconds team. This is round two, just knocking it up. Three, two, one, all right. We're gonna do one more round of everything. Three rounds, not four. A little interesting thing for a double down. On your marks, get set. Here we go. 
Quick transition. Dive in. Ha. Sticky, sticky. exercise has bilateral. Let's talk about it. What it is, one leg out, one leg bent, optional weight. The weight goes in the hand that's opposite to the knee. Let's take a second and grab it. Light to start. Something that you might go overhead with. Okay, so now roll it down. Option for a Turkish sit-up. It's a sit-up, but the weight stays extended. If you want, you can also hug that weight into chest and go from there as well. So those are for anyone whose shoulders kind of bum them out, or maybe you were doing windmills already, or maybe you just want that extra core challenge while hugging it in. You'll go to the second side. Yes, when you hug it in, it's actually more core challenge, less arm challenge. Second side, boom, 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 boom. Try to keep the feet on the floor. Last exercise is a single, is a bridge. Single leg, alternating. If you want, keep that weight on the hips. Alternate, try to keep it on the hips. It will add the slightest amount of challenge as you move that leg. So, you've seen it, you've done it. If you're not going for flexion work, I'll show you as a single leg drop. On your marks, get set, go. First round, let's try it. You got that weight, opposite hand, knee up. If you're marking this version with me, try to keep the legs on the floor. If you want, try the variation of hugging it into chest. Ooh, that's hard. If you need, use that weight slightly away from you to roll it up and down. So this entire time is 40 seconds. If your neck is bumming you out and you don't want to go flexion, single leg drop, single leg drop. Ooh, ah, 
and relax. Okay, second side. Those options again. The option to do opposite hand, opposite, hug, or just leg drop. Ready, set, here we go. Try it out. Feet on the floor, rolling down. So this is not necessarily a Turkish get up, but this is half a Turkish get up. If you're familiar with Turkish get up land, it's about getting a weight up to standing from a crunch position. I'll go over that another day. <laughs> For now, this is it. This up and down. Hug it into chest if you want. Ooh. Relax the neck, yes, yes. Or single leg drop. Beautiful, three, two, one. Now, only if you want the weight, go ahead, grab it. Put it slightly on the hip bone as you bridge on up. Two feet on the floor. Now extend one leg, hold, put it back down. Here, hold, put it back down. Try to not use the arms to push into the floor, but the glutes stabilize. All right, team. So those are our pods. We're doing three rounds. This is first round. 10 seconds to go. Double. So we're finishing out with some rushes of Dominus targeting the six pack out target and then finishing with that bridge that's that glute core. We're on round two. Up and down. Shake it out, shake it out. Second side. Home 
stretch. Putting it in the bag, on your marks, get set, and go. Are you at the Turkish? Are you at the head relax, single leg drop? Both are great. Both are work. Oh my goodness. Three, two, one. Okay, finish it out. The bridge. I'll press that timer. We're getting started on that bridge. Smart. On your marks, get set, and go. So, weight on the hips. One leg optionally extending. Just a good way to balance out all the flexion with an extension. Think of this one as a nice controlled little downhill roll, downhill run home. 10 seconds, focusing on balance stability, not about going quick, just one step after another, one extension after another, three, two, one. All right. Woo. Okay, team. Let's stretch it out. So our hip flexors have done so much for us today. We're gonna do a little hip flexor stretch. So what I want you to do here is just take your knees, let them drag to the side, turn to the side, and just lay on one shoulder as you lift one hand up and over, feeling that nice stretch. So my back foot is on the floor, my front leg is bent, and I'm feeling that nice yummy stretch across the hip here. Ooh, you can let that arm relax. Play with what angle of the hip feels better to you on that stretch. Three more breaths here. Letting the head relax. And other side. You can just turn to your back wall or option to shimmy over. Same thing. So you start with the 90-90 here. Kind of just take the hips and let them stack if that feels good to you. Back heel grounded, front leg bent. Reach on up if you want. Good, nice big arm circles. You can do that on the first side, but it's just a little something you can do. Three breaths here. Relax. Let's come to a kneeling or seated position. Up to you. A lot of times we did a lot of flexion work. So tomorrow, if you feel a little bit of kind of soreness, it's probably because we were leading with our head a bit, which is okay. It just might feel a little bit sore. So if you're feeling that tomorrow, hands on your head, press your head into your hands, look down. That will just relieve some of the neck flexors a little bit. Press hands into your head, hand, head into hands. Elbows wide, look down and just relax into it. Good, hands drop to the side, reach up and over, whether you're kneeling, little extra stretch, other side. Step your hip foot forward. Engage that glute, drop the hip forward. Hand up, yummy, yummy, yummy. More hip flexor stretch, releasing all that. So, kid you not, that was 45 minutes all focused on core. One of those things that tend to be a grind switch size. I don't know, I don't know if there are many people who are just like, I want 45 minutes of crunches. We didn't do all crunches, but we definitely hit the obliques, the reference of dominus, the deep core. So, we made it. Stand on up, hands behind the head. More of that neck stretch. Here to shoulder, look on down. 
flick on up. And other side, another great neck stretch if you're feeling that tomorrow, ear to shoulder. Look on down. Look on up. All right, team. Three big stretches. So we kind of did a quick cool down today. Feel free to do some other cool downs if you want. Some of them I recommend is that elbow over, other elbow over. In fact, let's do that. Why rush through it, right? So much we rush through. If you have a second, stay with me. One hand up and back. Big inhale, get lengthened. Uh, let that shoulder drop into the socket. Ooh, I got a little shakes from all those planks. Oh, mountain climbers, hello, other side. So elbow, bring it up, hand towards the neck. Big inhale, lengthen, and then let that shoulder drop into its socket. And last one. Okay, three big reaches, team. Reach it up, 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 up. This is just to get the blood rushing back to the head. We were kind of on the floor a lot today. So big inhale up, get that blood circulating. One more, big reach, big lift. Ah, and let it all go. Give yourself a hand. We doubled down in so many ways. That two by two, four rounds, and double down, double down core. So 